Hello, my cougars, kittens, and cubs. It's me, Lakota, and I'm here with a uh, look. This is the first of my series of the Big Ten. This is makeup for moms. It's parents week. You're not sure how to dress, what to do, and you want to put on school colors. Well, I'm here to show you school spirit. This right here is OSU. I don't know about you, but I can finish this sentence with my child and my money go to OSU. Go Bucks! Woo! It's also my alma mater. My own personal saying I have is Buckeye by birth, alumni by choice. Anyway, this is the first one that I'm doing in my series of Big Ten. As you can see, I've kind of got the Scarlet and Greg representing here. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to take my flat brush and I'm going to dip it into some black. Now I'm using my 120 palette. I hope that they got on screen and let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm taking just a flat brush. I'm dipping it in that black that I showed you. And we're just going to come into the crease here. Not all the way. We're going to do our V. I know you're thinking, no base, no primer, no nothing. Yep. Well, I don't use primer because it makes it so much fun. It's time to wash your face and you've got that primer on there. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is take a base. Now, I always use a base because I'm a woman of color, white, just so I can get my colors on as pure as I can. And we're not worried about keeping that black looking like too much of anything. We're going to go right over it. Right here. Okay, just blend it in and get it over it. Not going to worry about it. Like I said, we're pretending that black isn't there and we're just getting our base on. Alrighty. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little liner brush that I have here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just real tiny. Let me make sure it's in camera. And I'm going to go into that first gray that I said that we'd be using, which is a jump up from, I'm sorry, I'm not going into the gray. I'm going into the white. We're going to use that white that I picked with the gray in it. And I know you guys are going, my goodness, girl, you did a video on how to repair eyeshadow on the palette. Why don't you fix yours? Because you know what? Every time I fix mine, being the smart person that I am, I drop it. So, I just haven't gone back and fixed it again. I'm gonna put a little bit more of that color. And I'm just covering the lid here. Just dabbing over it. Cleaning off my brush, I'm gonna use the same brush, and then I'm gonna go into that first red that I showed you, which is just like one jump away from the white we just used. And I'm just going to go halfway in right here and pull her in all the way to the back. All the way to the back. Yep. Don't worry about that black like I told you. Okay, now we're going to the next gray, which is the gray just above the black. Same brush. And I'm just taking it in the corner here. Nothing major, just in the corner. Okay, that part's done. Now I'm going to take my flat brush that I have here. I don't know why I'm holding my hand like that, but the flat brush, you guys, why am I being a dork today? Guess I'm kind of upset my team lost, huh? I'm a Cleveland Browns fan. But this is a flat brush I'm using, and I'm going to pull into the red. I'm going to go into that first red that I showed you, which is third up in that row of reds. And we're going to come right in here in this corner and pull it out. I'm going to get just a little more. This red's kind of faint, but that's okay because I use it kind of as the base for my red. And yep, I'm taking it over the crease. Continuing that red on. Still the same red. Now I'm going to step up to the next red. And just pull it over and pull it in. No, I don't have Parents Week coming up for me until October. 
because Ohio State, I'm sorry, the Ohio State University is such a huge school, I very rarely get to go to a game. It would be nice to go this year to a homecoming game with a... Uh, Now I'm into the pink to go to a homecoming game with my offspring who go to the Ohio State University. But it's not gonna happen. Tickets go so fast. Okay, there's the red. I don't know why I'm blowing it off. We're done with that. Now we're gonna go back with our flat brush. I'm gonna take this one that we used for the black right here. I guess it's on camera, I'm hoping so. Don't dip it back in the black, because we're just touching up. And like I said, halfway with the black, over. And just halfway over. Okay. Taking my blending brush and I'm fixing it all up. I'm just taking that red and just kind of blending it. Now the eye check, make sure they match. Just touching up with the black here. There's my scarlet and gray, going good. Next I'm gonna do some eyebrows, which I didn't do on this side. my cheater way, the quick way. I did do a tutorial on what I do to my eyebrows when I take my time. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is put some eyelashes on with my L'Oreal Double Extends. You guys know this is my favorite here. I'm gonna do a little bragging about my school. They are the third ranked school for having the most players in the NFL as far as college goes. Woohoo! That's my bucks. Doing it like they do. Alrighty. Eyelashes on. I'm gonna move to eyeliner here. Now, this is very important when doing eyeliner, especially for us. Pull gently and do not, do not, do not put eyeliner in the waterline. That is something I have never, ever done. That is bad. It is horrible. You pose all kind of eye infections for yourself, especially if you're a contact lens wearer. Do not put it in your waterline. Always pull gently and I put it underneath. Never in the waterline. Now, just for some color, Take the brush with the red and kind of go in the corner. Just to pull out that corner. Show off that scarlet and gray. And the blush that I'm going to be using today is um, actually Wet n Wild. It's their silk finish. And I believe that this color is number, what is it, 838 in Mellow Wine. Yep. And with a brush that I'm going to ignore, I'm going to go ahead and get my blush brush out. Just dab and smile. Now here's a little trick too. If you can't get your blush to look the way you want, put it in some eyeshadow. Dip your blush brush in your eyeshadow. And there you have it. You'll have your color. But we want to focus on our eye color. So I'm leaving this little mellow color. As they say, mellow wine is what it's called. I'm keeping it mellow. There's my blush. Now for my lips, you guys know that usually I do pale lips. Um, and I'm thinking that for this look, that I'm gonna stick to that. The reason being is like I said, we're doing scarlet and gray. Um, 
we don't want to age ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and do pale lips. I am. I'm not going to put any color on my lips. And besides, that's the look that's in right now. Now, if you've got a colored gloss, go for it. I'm using my Victoria's Secret. This is my Spice Girl flavor. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some on. And I probably should have picked one with more of a silvery color than a gold color just because we need to keep up with our scarlet and gray. And that would have actually been my cupcake. But I got my Spice Girl. I've got my gold look. Let's see if I can do something with this hair of mine here. And pretty much that's it. That's our look. That's our scarlet and gray. I'm ready to dot that eye. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, subscribe. O-S-U. O-S-U. Oh, that's you.